Strength again from us, guys. Today we're doing exercise number eight. It's the second last exercise, so we're almost done here. This one's for your core, especially for your oblique. There's a muscle around the back called QL, great for your shoulder stability, and also glute medius and medius and hip stabilizers. Gets all of those guys working. What this exercise, or the way we do this, guys, you're going to start off lying on your side. I'm going to show you basic beginner way to begin, and then taking it to a little bit more advanced. You're going to place your elbow under the shoulder. That's quite important that the elbow is right under the shoulder. So we want to create a nice stack that runs up elbow, shoulder, neck, shoulder, and straight up to the ceiling, trying to create the length as we push up. Start off in a nice straight line. If you look down the body, we should have your knees in line with your hips in line with your shoulders. Draw your transverse abdominals in. When you're ready, we're going to push down on your knees. Get yourself up nice and straight. Okay, nice neutral spine, straight down the body. Arms up, hold that nice and steady. So first guys, if you've never done this before, just try a 30 second hold on one side. Once you can do that, straighten the legs out. It's a 30 second hold on side number two. Now a bit of a variation on that guys, we can start off on phase number one, bending back from your elbows, bring yourself up, take a deep inhale, lengthen the body as you breathe out, breathe out, excuse me, make sure the navel is drawn in, and gently follow the arm under and stretch under the body. Inhale, open the body up again. Now guys, the hips stay pretty stable as if they've been staked. They don't rotate. It's the, the thoracic spine, the part of the spine that's connected that the rib cage connects to. Now we're gonna exhale, rotate, stretch, create as much rotation as you can. Inhale, lengthen back to neutral spine. That can be done again in a full plank. Up, create that length. Exhale under, stretch, and back up. Now one more little tip guys, when it comes to the full side plank, you've got two options with your feet. You can either place one on top of the other, or place the top foot over to the front. Nice straight line, don't sag down. But guys, that's your side plank or thread the needle. Great core exercise. Give it a go guys, we've got one more exercise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.